Evening, everyone. So, oh, I forget my raccoon eyes. I did have a shower. Kind of see with my hair. Kind of. And forgive me for being dark on my face and, like, bright everywhere else. I'm trying, but, well, apparently it's failing. So, uh, anyway, I am doing my little haul that I did today. It's mainly food-related stuff. Like, I needed to get a few more stocking stuffer stuff. And, um, yeah. So, I'm gonna get right into it. I do have one thing that I definitely will be returning, but I will get to that. So, um, yeah, let's get right into it. I went to Giant Tiger. I was hoping to find some more things, but for some reason, I think I, well, I probably went there too late in the season and all, like, the good stuff was taken, but, you know, I figure, you know, they still have, like, more decoral stuff, but they don't. It's just more, um, yeah. They don't have a lot of decor stuff, which sucks. But, I do have some stuff in here. Alright, I will be going through my receipt list and seeing what I might be able to exchange or return and such. But, right now I'm going to show, because I can't, I, I know one thing I was going to return, but I can't remember what that is, but I'm, so we're just going to get into it. And this is a change, definite change. Like, I'm still, I'm currently still using my, I, I'm still using my laptop for watching Pokemon. So it's here instead of being over there. I got this. This is um, Waterbridge Belgian Milk Chocolate Letter, and I got L. Hopefully it's still that shape when my sister opens it, because, yes, this is for my sister. This is just part of her stocking stuffer. I also got this uh, this box. It's by Paradise. It's the Rosebuds and the chocolate one. They have a bunch of other, like, type of uh, things. But this one is just called Rosebuds, and it's just a plain chocolate, which is all my sister can have. Um, and it doesn't hurt her. And I got some boxers. These are actual boxers. And as you can see, these are Grinchified. This is like, this is the original, like, uh, picture book one. And these are an extra large because this looks more normal. I will be looking, this looks more normal to fit on my, on Manny than the large that I was picking out, but I'm going to check, again, once I'm finished this video, I'm going to check some of the things, like, I have a pair of boxers that I bought him last year, and they fit him, so we'll see. Well, I just want to make sure I have the right size. Dollar Tree. It's all just little stuff. Another thing for my sister, this is a, this is by Palmer's. It is North Pole Pals, yummy chocolatey flavored candy. I don't know why they say it's candy, it's just chocolate. And... It's fine. It says whey, but it's just, it's totally fine. It's just chocolate. It's not gonna hurt her. I got this. This is the Sassy and Chic brand four-way nail buffer block. And I got this because I went to the mall and I had my nails cut, like, a few, two of my nails done. And oh my gosh, like, it was the, like, it was the last part that he did. And it was so smooth and shiny, and it was just like my regular nail. He also did it on um, one of my polished nails, and it was freaking cool. So I bought this to try out because this, it's mainly this side that I'm more excited about, the shine. And that's the last step. So, but I probably will use it um, just to try the main stuff out, but it's mainly the step four that I'm really interested in. So, um, yeah, so... This is really just a tryout. It was just a buck twenty-five. All this is. And I got more stickers. These ones I don't have. And these are Forever in Time Paper Craft Collection Glitter Embossed Stickers. And this first one here I'm showing with you was the last uh, design sheet. And yes, it's owls. And I have another sheet of owls. This one they had multiples of. This is really nice. I like I like the uh, little little bubbling of it. That's probably the embossed part, but I call it a little bubbling. This was feels like. It's cute and pretty and, you know. Me and owls, I would want, I want more fox stuff. I want more fox stuff too, but, well, the owls are cute. Mm. I did some Walmart exchanging and I have some new stuff in here. It's just, this is all the stuff from Walmart and stuff that I already had. I just kept it in there just to make sure that it just stays in there. So I found these again, 
and I exchanged the ones that I got. So this, I went to like three, three Walmart, you know, well, the Walmart that's really closest to me is, this is the second time I found these, so I probably should just get it from there. This I'm going to return because this I got from Walmart, and this costs like a dollar more. The receipt's in my wallet, and I got these. This is from Aunt Shelly. And this is the last thing I got. I can't believe this wasn't on sale, but whatever. It's the Lint Lindor Pumpkin Spice uh, Chocolate. And I love I love pumpkin spice flavored stuff, so this should be good because Lint is very good. I do like Lint. This should be very tasty, and hopefully I can get this try, try this out to you and get it into a video. Let you know how I like it. I went to Bath and Body Work, and I got my exchange done. Here's the one I wanted, the... Frosted Cranberry Gentle Foaming Hand Soap. That's the one I wanted. There I go. And I got hand moisturizers. I got the Winter Candy Apple, and they pack this is how they packaged it this year. And I got two more, because I- This should last me till, like, the end of the winter season. They didn't- I wish they had the, um, gingerbread latte, because I would have loved that, but this seems to be the staple now. <sighs> Fresh cold Brita water. Looks really tasty. And something is up my nose. I don't know what it is, but something is up my nose and it's making it very uncomfortable. I also did a return at Shoppers and I got some Toblerones because I got it there because nowhere else is selling like, I just wanted some regular Toblerones. Everywhere else was selling them you know, like the special ones where it's like more expensive and, and like these ones are like under four dollars. It was three something. I don't know why nowhere else is selling like a regular Toblerone. Like, it's weird. But anyway, I got some. And these are for me and my dad to go in their stocking stuffers. My biggest purchase was at Dollarama. Oh, fudge, I didn't get something I needed. Oh well. I, I still need more bubble wrap, but I can get that at a later time. But I finally, I got this, this is the Lori brand, uh, a cosmetic bag for four bucks, and I got this to put all my makeup in, because I don't like what it's in right now, it's just, I don't like it. This should be big enough. I liked this better than what else I was seeing, and it is bigger than the other stuff I was seeing. Yeah, I think I just said that. It's got two um, side pockets, but... And this is the only color it came in, and like the design, like this sparkle. But that's fine. The only other thing was either I get like a three pack and one of them has a freaking bow on it and it's just stupid. I wish they get more of those three packs because that would be a whole lot better because I think all of it would fit in. All of them. I know all of it would fit in there, but for now it's just going to have to do with this. And I like this. I like this a lot better. The design is a whole lot better than the designs that they have out. They did have an owl one and I should have bought it when I saw it, but I didn't and I'm so crushed. Whatever. The Hollow Santa for my sister. M&M's. These are just the mini M&M's. Because she can have M&M's. She can't have Smarties. Because that actually has, like, what? Wheat. I don't know. It has something in there that she can't have. Stocking stuffer socks. These are the thermal ones. 75% polyester, 10% cotton. 5% acrylic, 5% wool, 5% spandex. Wow. Okay. And I got out of the pink ones last year. I know I did. I know I at least got out of the pink ones. I got these socks for Dad and Manny. These are, um, just... There's... It comes with two. And these are just, uh, men's heavy work socks. Wool blend. They didn't have, uh, anything else. Wow. If this is, this is a wool blend, it's got 80% polyester. Fifth, there's only 15% wool in here. Wow, there's rubber in these things. I guess for insulation? I'm guessing. I got these, uh, card, uh, four gift card holders, because, as, you know, I got, I have some, and I don't, I only got a two-pack of the other card holder, which I like. I saw those at this Dollarama, but I didn't like the color that they were. This, there was more of these, and there was one that had reindeer on it, but this one, I liked this color better. And this was all a consistent design. This is like a white gold. Whereas the other one's just, I don't know. I didn't like it, the design. Well, the color scheme, actually. I like the design. Another pack of these. They only came in this size. I don't know why. 
that's fine. It's for my sister. I got some nail polish, and this is just a regular nail polish. It's not like a thing on it. This is Nicole by Opi, and this is a Selena Gomez brand because Selena Gomez is wrapped all around the bottle. It's a pretty yellow color. And I, that's what I wanted, like, but I got one, it was like a nail art design thing. It wasn't a normal nail polish. This is called Hit the Lights, but this is the yellow kind of nail polish that I wanted, so. I got some of these Pizzles, right, Pizzle. The original Italian waffle cookie in vanilla. They only had vanilla, but my, um, when I went to go see a chiropractor with uh, my with about, about my spine before I got my surgery, and I think I think after too, but they would have these out if I'm correct, and these are so good, and they have them at my Dollarama kind of like all the time, or at least majority of the time, and I could get these, and like I do really like eating these, so I got a nightlight, and I needed this because the one I got, like my Disney princess one, it doesn't fit in the little corner over there, like because the the picture thing is way too wide, so I got this because like it's it's a slim design, and it's just you know it's for, better for now because then I don't have to keep using the um, Bath and Body Works one. I'm actually gonna get rid of that because. Like, I just hate putting in the wallflowers because it's not, like, the wick thing is not protected. Unlike the Yankee Candle one, where it's actually protected by a plastic cover on top. And I can just get the bulbs all I want. I have extra bulbs in my little container thing, so. I got two of these because it'll work in where I want it to. And, like, I've been wanting these flat ones. I'm still gonna get the ones that I want, but I'm definitely gonna use these for now. And... This is so cool. Like, this is, um, it's by Quirky. The brand is Quirky. And it's a plug power extend hard to reach. Invented by real people like you, Mark Rumner. That, this guy right there. I need this thing for the place, like, right here, over there. Because, like, I have something plugged in and it's just very inconvenient for to put it over there. I'm still going to use like the extender that it's there, but I'm going to plug this into the wall and have the extender plugged into here because like I need to push that thing back and the your normal like wall plug things, they kind of just, you see like how it, this plugs, it would just come like straight out this way. Whereas it needs to be like this because if it goes straight out this way, you tend it tends to if you're having it in tight spaces, it tends to get bent and that's where you get like arcing and such and like damaging the wires that are in there. I'm gonna need, this is a lot better, especially over there and I think and I need it over there especially. This is really good. That's why I got two and I need uh, I need one for over there. I like it and it, even though it's so the dollar store, it's it keeps bulky adapters from blocking outlets. Like, this is just another bag of these. And, like, pay two of these are, like, two bucks and, like, 15 cents. Whereas, if I get a big bag, it... Hmm. Like, yeah, she, my sister doesn't need all this much, but... They're selling this brand of Sally Hansen at the Dollarama now. They actually have, like, a thing. Like, a stand thing, so... I like... And I got this shade... It is called Unbreakable Heart, and it's a deep red shimmery. You can't really see the sparkles, but you can see that it's very, it's shimmers. It's a shimmer thing. There's a bit of like that coppery in there that makes there's that shimmer, but I really like this color. Yeah, and I'm so, it's so nice to see like that professional look of the thing where I see it all the time at like Walmart, but now it's over at Dollarama. That's really nice. I got another one of these. This is the Wet n Wild Wild Shine Nail Color in Red Red. And I have this on my nail right now. And like, look how dead on the color is. From like the bot, the container to my nail. Like that is like perfect, pretty much. Not in person, but like on camera, it looks so perfect. There is a slight difference 
in person, but it's not that bad and it's- I love this color. So that's why I got another one of these because I only have one and I really like this. Well, Dollar- I got these at Dollar Tree and they didn't have them, but they had them at Dollarama. I got two bags and yes, it does- it would- yes, it does mean that I have to eat more of the mint favor- mint and- mint favors and the candy cane cups. I have to eat more of that. But it's worth it to eat the peppermint bark squares. The peppermint bark squares are so freaking awesome. And I'm going to open a bag and count how many because I have seven right now, so I technically had eight. So who? Maybe it's just it just says assorted. It doesn't. It doesn't ever say what count. So so good. I just wish they would come in individual bags, like a bag of the peppermint bark squares, because I would just buy bags of those, because that is so fucking good. And the last thing I got was a bag of chips for my sister. And these are just, uh, regular. That's all. Because that's really all she eats. And that's the end of my haul. Like, wait, I'd say it's like a second to last haul. I still have money, and I still got- I'm gonna return that one thing. And I may or may not buy more. It depends on how I feel, but I'm pretty much done. Yeah, I am pretty much done. This either is my last Christmas haul, like the buying, or I will have one more. We shall see. But my next actual like haul will be my present haul. So, um, I hope you liked my video. If you did, hit that like button down there. If you have any comments about, you know, what I got, you can leave in the comments below. Yes. All of, a lot of the stuff is always year-round, like the chips, like, there's always socks, and as I said, the pizzles, you see them, like, literally, like, all year. A lot of the stuff is seasonal, so some of it should be back around for next year. Um, just don't leave negativity down there, because we don't need negativity in the world. And I am feeling a little weird right now. <laughs> if this is the first time you're watching my video, hit that big red subscribe button down there by my picture, if it's still like that. For more hauls, book reviews, unboxing, unbagging, because some things come in a bubble wrap manila envelope, envelope slash baggy wrapped thingy. Vlogmas, random vlogs, and random random videos that I have no idea where to categorize them. Alright, so I gotta, I'm gonna deal with that note stuff tomorrow because uh, I'm just tired right now and I got laundry to put away and I got some other thing little things to deal with so I will see you all in my next video which I am going to attempt to finish no I'm not gonna do that now so I will see you all in my next video bye everyone